Hi everyone. In this video, we see Hikaru Nakamura defending against Yasser's passer. Hi everyone. It's National Master Aaron Cooper with another video of Hikaru Nakamura. And we're going to look at his very first U.S. chess championship in 2003. And the game in hand is against the legendary American Yasser Sarawan. Now, Hikaru, I think, was 15 at this time, and it's amazing that uh, he's able to compete with the best of the best in American chess at such a young age. So we pick it up after move 27. Black has just played e5, and this was a Grunfeld, and Nakamura is black. Sarawan has the white pieces, and Sarawan decides to sacrifice the exchange, giving up the rook for a bishop and pawn. So despite the fact that a rook is five points, bishop and pawn is four, you would think that white is down one point materially, which is true, but positionally he has some advantages. In particular, these two pawns, this uh, protected d6 pawn uh, could be very problematic for black. So let's see how things played out. Sarawan exchanges the knight for the bishop, and he eventually wins the pawn on e5, like so. So in this instance, white has a rook, and two pawns, and a bishop, and black has two rooks. So, can black defend this? There are some very weak dark squares around the king. Entry points for white's king. This is going to be a tough defense. Let's see what Nakamura is able to do. So Sarawan does bring the king up. But the young Nakamura plays a nice move here, h6, which is a trap. Now, do not take that pawn. Sarawan did not do this in the game, but had he done it, then we would go against Ben Feingold's rule of never play f6. In this case, it's very strong. Uh, in fact, that king is going to be hunted. For instance, if white takes this pawn, we've got check. King here. King here, threatening mate. King goes up the board, check, and mate will follow. Okay, so Sarawan, being the strong grandmaster that he is, did not fall for that trap. He brought the king back, and he tried to make some headway, but Nakamura smartly pestered him with his rook, and then was able to trade off some pawns and create further weaknesses. So in this position, we'll see that Sarawan has a weak pawn on f3, and his bishop is tied to the defense of the c5 pawn. And based on those two factors, it's going to be very hard for white to advance the king uh, up the board to help support this pawn moving forward because the black king is doing a great job keeping the white king from advancing. So the players played a few moves but Sarawan realized yeah I'm not making any progress so I will take the draw against the kid. Right here he gets a repetition. So there you go very impressive by the 15-year-old Nakamura. And it turns out that Yasu's passer was not as uh, dangerous as uh, it could have been. So Nakamura had a real nice defense and he secured the draw against one of the uh, greatest American grandmasters uh, of all time. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, give me a like, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more Nakamura videos in the near future.